Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore another custom ROM for our Samsung Galaxy S3. And today we got a ROM called Hexagon ROM based on Android 7.1. And this is the ROM, I, I think I can say that this is one of the best ROM you can find for this device. And uh, if you go like, uh, you can get Android 9 or Android 10 based ROM for this device but those will be pretty laggy and you will not have fun with your device but although this rom do have few issues uh, i would say if you don't use this device as a primary device if you are using it as a secondary device those issues are not really matter and going with this rom as you can see the animation boot animation looks pretty nice actually and after using few days actually i kind of like this rom and but still i had to try a few other roms for this device i have few other roms to try so as you can see the rom booted up and it is a pretty stock rom and there is nothing hexagon version 2.4 and this is an official ROM for this device actually and as you can see here the UI is pretty much stock and everything works pretty well on this device in a stock mode the Wi-Fi works pretty well uh, in few other ROMs I have tried the Wi-Fi does work but wrong and also if you want navigation bar you can unable it too if you have like uh, issues with your soft buttons here like Samsung devices uh, used to get this kind of issues where you cannot press back button or uh, like menu button so in that in that case you can uh, like unable navigation bar and you can use and also the brightness auto brightness does work adaptive brightness does work and everything works perfectly fine on this device actually i kind of like this rom pretty very much right now we used already 3 gb of the storage and almost 11 gb is available for on this device like uh from 16 gb and also the free rom is like free ram is like 438 which is pretty good for this device and also you can do like few other things you can choose the buttons if you want uh, to do more action with this kind of bu these buttons you can do it too as you can see here and also one more thing is the double tap to like turn off the skin does work here but double tap to work doesn't work as you can see here but you can use home button or the power button to work the device Going with other things, the location and other things are working perfectly fine here. And there are nothing much going on with this device as it is a pretty stock ROM. And going with the application part. So it got this application coming with browser and the camera application which does work perfectly fine. You will not have any issue with the camera. Uh, you can shoot video and the front camera also working perfectly fine on this ROM. And one thing I have to talk about is that the issues of this ROM actually is that uh, in stock kind of thing, you will not going to get any kind of issue. I just gave up. So if you want to use this ROM, if you don't want like GF, I will say use this ROM. It is a pretty good ROM for this device. But if you want GFs, uh, I cannot suggest you this ROM. You better try other ROMs. Uh, basically, you can go with RROS. Like if it's based on Android 5, it will be really good. But for this ROM, if you want Android 7, and if you want a pretty stable ROM, I would say 
uh, if you don't watch GFs, you can go with this ROM and I will put the link of this ROM in the description below. Battery backup also pretty good on this ROM. Everything works perfectly fine. You will not have any kind of issue with the ROM as a stock if you don't change anything. Put the ROM, you can do that too. It's up to you, but I haven't done anything to it. And as a stock ROM, it is working perfectly fine and it is quite uh, responsive as you can see if I press any of the application it does go like it opens pretty fast if you go in with the stock ROM you will see it is pretty laggy but this ROM working perfectly fine you will, you will get a decent music player too and also you are getting audio effects so pretty much all the application you are getting just no GFs here and if you really want to install this ROM the link will be in the description below. So that's all about hexagon ROM for our Samsung S3. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.